Hi, you guys. So we are slowly all lo logging on right now. Today is the mango theme. We're gonna do our backdrop first and paint it, and then after we're gonna do our outline. So today the theme is mango. I want you guys to get out your pencils, eraser, and your mini six by six canvases. If you don't have this size, you can play around with another size, whatever you have around for canvas, even if it's paper. But it is gonna be a six by six canvas. Okay, so we're gonna get started on the painting pot now. Or is it too soon in, you think? Actually, it might be soon in, so I'm gonna give it another two minutes. If you guys wanna let us know um, where you're logging in from, where you're painting from, I'd love to hear. We will be doing a little vote later on today too of uh, choosing our next following themes, and then you guys just message us, let us know which one you wanna choose. Actually, since we're waiting, we can kinda of do that right now. Let me pull a couple themes. Move this up. <laughs> We've got someone from Medford, Oregon, and another family from Kailua. Awesome! And Kitty Cat Mom says she misses you. Hi, I miss you! <laughs> awesome, I miss her! She's always <laughs> coming paint. Okay, so I'm going to just show you guys. These are some ideas for some following themes that we can paint. Um, we do need to take a vote. Let me know which next class you guys want to do for theme. Let me show you the options we have. There's four options. We got Diamond Head, the Whale Shark, which I'm like really excited about. We got the Taro and we got the Mermaid Tail. So these are the four new themes. Let us know in the message or under the comments like which one you guys want to um, learn next. They're all pretty easy using kind of the same colors we've been using the last two weeks too. So don't have to get too much new for colors. This one's uh, black, that's about it. That's, if you don't have a black in your um, palette yet, that's probably the only color to add to the list. So let me know, comment under. We got Diamond Head, Mermaid Tail, Taro, and the uh, Whale Shark, which is well seasoned, coming around the Kona, you know? Now we're gonna get started though. I'm gonna put this down and then we'll get started on the mangoes. We're gonna do the backdrop first. You guys don't have to do also the blue background. So I did blue, you can do like yellow in the background, you can do purple, you can do whatever color you want. Um, I'm gonna do the same uh, Caribbean blue, which I love, but I'm gonna add white to it to kind of soften it up and use that for my backdrop right here. But if like, let's say you want purple or you want an orange backdrop, go ahead and switch your backdrop color if you please. You can even do a dark blue or light blue. Let me just put these down. <laughs> Okay, pour time. We're gonna pour our paint. You guys got a paper plate or wooden palette and get it all fancy. This is my fancy daily. Walmart paper plates. Boom! So I get a little bit of that. Then I'm gonna add some white because I'm gonna soften up the blue. This is really pretty by itself for the backdrop, but I like to go really, really soft pastel-y. That way the oranges and the greens really pop out on the mangoes and the leaves. So I'm gonna take about two squirts of the white, three squirts of the blue. I'm gonna grab any of your medium to bigger size brushes you wanna pull out. So I need the bigger brushes. You're gonna mix the blue and the white together in the middle. And I'm gonna do it to this nice soft teal color. We got Fat Freddy's Drop playing in the background. It's one of my favorite bands. They're from New Zealand. So if you're curious who's, who's singing, it's just them. They're amazing, no big deal. Her birthday in the house. Oh, it's somebody's birthday? Yes! <laughs> May babies, Gemini, happy birthday. Yeah, we get a paint on your birthday. That's exciting. I did that on my birthday. I painted, I wanted to paint all day. I was so happy. I made a haku, you guys, too, and it was a 
really bushy or big. That's probably not the word, bushy. <laughs> Really, like, I, I crowded too many of the flowers and bunches because I got really excited how many flowers were in the middle. <laughs> so the haku was bigger than my face, but it was fun, it was super fun, first one. <laughs> so I'm getting all my edges, So again, don't forget to paint your edges. Even if the canvas is smaller on the edge, definitely get your edges. It looks better when you carry it over and when it's hung up. Let's keep going. I'm going to paint the bottom. And I like to rotate my canvas around, so I'll move my canvas around as I'm painting. So the faster we get the backdrop done, the better, because we want it to dry before we can do our pencil outline on it. So speed paint if you need to, but you just really want a simple background. You don't want to spend too much time on it because it's not going to be the focus point like the mangoes. So here is a gorgeous light blue teal color. Really pretty. I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to put that down. You guys keep painting. I'm going to fan that bugger off, but I'm also going to bring those samples back over. If I didn't expect that <laughs> while you guys are painting. And then um, we'll get started on the outline probably in about three minutes once this paint does dry. So let me just grab that. Okay, you guys, so these are going to be possible upcoming themes. If any of them look fun to paint or one you wanna do next, vote. There's, um, they're numbered out, so there's one, two, three, and four. Keep painting your background as you guys are working on it. We're gonna do the outline in a few minutes, but let us know which one that you wanna paint. Either one, two, three, or four for our future class. Any one of those. Let us know. And so we're still waiting for the paint to dry for our mango background. Ooh, four, yes. Well, Shark, that's what I'm saying. I, that's a fun one, you guys. I just made that the other day. Ooh, two, I love it. Diamond head with some hibiscus. Yes. Hi girl, hi, two, yep. What else? Still waiting on this to dry. Make sure you guys get your edges and keep letting me know which ones you wanna paint next. We got one, Taro, two, Diamond Head, Hibiscus, woo, color. Four, Well Shark, love this one. Three, it went backwards, cause you're welcome. Mermaid Tail. <laughs> So let us know. Yep, two again. Woof, woof, four again. So again, let us know which ones. One, two, three, or four. My canvas is almost dry.
Okay, so we are just working on our backdrop of our mango right now. Again, you just wanna just paint all the edges, keep it a simple color. You don't have to do blue, you can do a different color if you like. But we are getting just the backdrop done and we're about to do the outline in two minutes. So you wanna get your pencil out, you wanna get your eraser in case you um, make any mistakes as well as a ruler. So if you are done painting, put it down, start to air dry if you have a paper plate or a fan next to you or a blow dryer. And then let's have you get your pencils, rulers out. We're gonna do our outline part, you guys. So, with the canvas on the left side, your ruler on the left side of the canvas, you wanna make a mark at one and a half inches you also wanna make a mark at four and a half inches. So on the left side of the canvas, one and a half, make a small mark, go up four and a half inches, make a small mark. I'm gonna remove the ruler, you see there, there, those are the two dots. This is gonna be where we're gonna do the branch part, so this brown part we're going to make we're going to use the ruler to make the straight line. So again, if you're just jumping on, on the left side of the canvas, it's one and a half inches. You're going to make a light mark as well as four and a half inches. Under that one and a half inch mark, I want you to put your ruler diagonal to that line, and then you're going to make a line going down with the ruler. So like that, and then I'm gonna go over about half an inch or a little less than that with the same line I'm gonna make, and that will be my first branch. That's the first one. We're gonna also do the same thing for the second one. So you're gonna take the ruler, it's gonna be sideways, find where that four and a half mark is, and then we're gonna make another line. So at the four and a half mark inch, I'm gonna make a line going diagonal from that. That's gonna be my second branch. So we're going to do another line next to it, but with a little bit of a gap. So you should have two lines for your branches. This is the first two. This is where we're going to start placing our mango, but these are the two branches you wanna make. Boom. So that's a sample of like the outline. We're gonna build it up with some leaves next. But I'm gonna have this place where we're gonna put all of our mangoes first. That's gonna be first. So I did three mangoes. If you guys wanna paint more mangoes on yours, go ahead. You can just do a couple more circles. And even if it's through the branch, just erase the branch. Um, like this part, I did it right through the branch. Now just erase that so you can see it's just the leaf in front of it. So I'm gonna place my mango now. So I'm gonna do a mango that's gonna be in the middle of these two lines and more further to the left side of the canvas. So sometimes I have to do my circles a few times until I, I'm happy with them. And now I'm going to erase all that extra pencil marks I made. 
That will be where my first mango's at. I'm gonna put another one down here on the bottom, but it's gonna look like I'm only putting half the mango. And then I'm gonna put another one above the second branch that we have. So those are my three mangoes. Is everyone doing good? Let me know how everyone's doing. If you're still tracing your mangoes, you do want to have at least three mangoes. Yes, you guys, looking good all of them. Yes. And again, it, it's good if like, let's say you want to put it over the second branch. Definitely do it. It looks really good. Um, I went just above on this one, but I'll build it up around it with some leaves right here. But it's okay if you do end up going through your branches. It does look good. We will make it look good no matter what. Okay, so now that we got our mangoes, we are going to add the stem from the mango to the tree. So right here, the first one, I'm just going to add a line from the mango. You wanna go kind of a half an inch down in the mango. And then I'm gonna do that for this one down here. Hook it to that branch. Hook them up. And then we're gonna do another one right here. You don't have to hook it to anything because there's nothing there. Okay, so now that we got our stems down, you want to hook it from the branch to your mango. There should be three of them. I'm going to start adding some leaves, and I'm going to start from the top now. So up here, it looks like a teardrop. That's going to be my first one. I'm going to make a nice cute little leaf right there. Then I'm going to do another leaf. So it's going to be this one next, a bigger one. So the best way to, I'm gonna use this canvas. So for leaves, you wanna whip out the line where it kinda has like a curve to it. And then you're gonna kinda squiggle it a little bit in and then round it out at the, the bottom. So a little squiggle, give it some movement for the leaf and round out the bottom. So I'm gonna do that right here. So this one, I'm putting it over the stick or the branch we made earlier. And I'm gonna build it up. I'm kind of a messy ridge. And then go up back to the canvas. And now that the branch is right there, I'm going to erase it so it's out of lightens up the lead on there. It's okay if it doesn't come all the way off, the paint will cover it for you. So that will be our second leaf. We're gonna do another one. And then for this one, I'm gonna add another one, but I'm gonna face it going towards the left. Like point it towards the left and bring it up. And then I'm gonna have another leaf, but I'm gonna go towards the right. I'm gonna do another leaf. Should be your top ones if you want to add more green you definitely can you can keep adding more leaves but you should just have a few here about three four of them on the left side okay 
Next, we're gonna add more into to the the stems going down to your mango. You want to add some branches off. This one, I don't have enough room to do the two that's here. So I'm gonna have you do whatever works for yours. If you have room for two, do two. I only have room for one, so I'm gonna add one little twig coming out from that stem. And then I'm gonna put a leaf on it after, which again, looks like a little raindrop. You can change the shape of your leaves too. So I'm gonna do one there. And then I'm gonna also add a little small connection to this one with the leaf. This one, I'm gonna add another leaf, but kind of over the twig. Not kind of, I did go over the twig. Raise that, that's gonna be a nice leaf there. And then we're gonna make a couple little ones down here too. Boom. Two there. And you'll see some areas you have little gaps where you can add more. Like if I wanted another one right here, I'll do. Actually, I'm gonna do. No, I'm not. It's not part of the theme. I'll stick to another leaf right here. And then we're gonna start painting. So as soon as you guys get this done, this is your outline. And then we're gonna get started on pouring the paint. We're gonna wait another two minutes as you're working on your outline. And then I'll get the palettes ready. So the first color you wanna pour is red. If you got red, grab your red. Put a little bit of red on your plate. Don't pour a lot, just pour a little bit at a time to save your paint. You can keep adding more if you start to run out. Next, we're gonna pour some um, real yellow. This is all by Apple Barrel, which you can get at Walmart. These are great in pricing, it's only about almost $6 for a bigger tube. It's only 56 cents for a smaller tube. So I'm gonna put a little bit of yellow. We got some red. These will be the colors for the mango. Let me go grab a missing brown. You do need brown, so grab the brown next. So this one is burnt nice nice dark dark brown i lighten it up sometimes with the orange or a little bit of white it's really pretty but this is what i'm going to use for the branches then we're going to add some white boom, boom. then i'm going to add some orange this is pumpkin orange You don't have to add purple. We don't actually have it on there. Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Sorry, we had a little glitch real quick. We are back. Um, so I'm adding a little bit of purple. You don't have to do this, but if you do have purple, I can show you how to add some purple in there. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to add some spring green. Yep, 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 yep. So we're going to get that light green in there for the leaves. Then we're gonna add some Christmas green. Love this color. And 
And now we're going again, Sonnen. Okay. Okay, let's get started. We are going to grab a smaller size brush. You can either do this one or this one's nice. Any of the smaller ones. So grab any of the smaller brushes. We're gonna start painting in the mangoes now. So we will zoom in a little bit more to show you how the buildup starts for your mangoes, but we're gonna paint our mangoes first before we uh, paint our branches and our leaves. So with any of these size brushes, grab it out. Actually, I'm gonna go with this really small one first. Let's do that small one. A little bit of this, a little bit of this. Okay, so I'm gonna dip it into this red. I'm twisting my brush hair in there. I like doing that because it gets the paint all over the brush, but it doesn't clump it, so it's all nice and smooth. We're gonna start with our first mango. So, I'm gonna follow that line we made earlier. That's about all the red you're gonna use on it. So it looks like you're just outlining it a little bit on the left side and a little bit on the right. Afterwards with the same brush, let's get that red paint off of it in your water cup. And then I'm gonna take this again, the same brush, dip it into this yellow Brush it into that yellow while the red is still wet. You don't want to do it a lot. You don't want to over blend. And I'm staying in the body of the mango right there. And now, even with the yellow still on the paintbrush, actually keep building up your yellow. Make sure you're, you're blending that yellow into the red while the red is still wet. You wanna bring in that red in there so it has that really pretty orange color. I might even add a little bit more red on mine. Getting that yellow in there. Okay, so we're now going to dip, even with the yellow still being on the brush, I'm going to dip it, no fruit fly, I'm going to dip it on <laughs> the green, that light green that we have. And I'm gonna follow the bottom outline that we had earlier. It's a little bit of that light green. And then I'm gonna blend that light green up in that yellow. Mm, that's good. A little 
little bit more. And even with the light green and yellow still on it, I'm gonna now dip it into the Christmas green. So the Christmas green is that darker green that we have. So if it's not that exact color, that's okay. Any darker green that you have opposite of the lighter green you have, you wanna use now. Now I'm gonna follow that line we made earlier around the pineapple with the dark green. Mango. Mango, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yes, the mango. <laughs> I'm still going around. And some more over here. And that will be your first mango. So we're gonna do another mango after this one. We're gonna build up the, the second one to the top. So with the same brush, I'm gonna get this dark green off there now. Just wash it off. Again, we wanna work that light green on the bottom going up and then we're gonna use the edges with that nice Christmas green around it. With the smaller brush, we're gonna start working on our second mango. So we're gonna take the smaller brush, get all the Christmas green off of it, and then we're going to start doing the same kind of like outline the top with some red for the body of the mango. Let us know where you guys are logging in from. Thank you for joining us for another fun live virtual painting class. I'm just adding some yellow in here. So with the red still wet, it's, it's good to place the yellow on right away so that way they start to blend really nice together and it creates that nice orange effect. So you want a nice orange. Get that yellow mixed in it. I'm gonna add some more yellow again, brighten it up right here. And then now I'm gonna add this Christmas green in. So follow the bottom. Use my finger to blend it out better. So keep focusing on your second mango. I know you guys are still building it up. For those of you that are already done with that one, let me show you a little trick. I dipped it now real quick, even with the green still on it, in the purple. So this one I'm gonna add a little bit of purple where that red was at. Some of the mangoes, they're a little bit more purple before they're ripe. So they have a nice 
purple blended out with this really pretty dark green color. So the red got really faded out there. I'm gonna add a little bit more red. I'm gonna dip in that dark green again. And with the same brush, we're gonna wash the dark green off the brush, get all your paint off of it. And we're gonna go again on your last mango, which is gonna be on the bottom. We're gonna do the same thing with starting off with red. And then we're gonna take this red and we're gonna do where this outline is for the body of the mango. And then now dip it in the yellow. Bring it around the edge now. I'm going to take this dark Christmas screen. So I know we're still building up our mangoes. I'm gonna let you guys work on that for a few minutes. I'll set this down while you're still working on that. I know some of you are still catching up.
Make sure you add a little bit of green in this last mango as well. Add a little bit of green on the edge and on the bottom. As is this, making mangoes. Okay, so with this small brush now, we're gonna move on from the mango part. We're gonna take the smaller brush we've been using for the mangoes, we're gonna wash the paint off of it. And now we're going to stick it into the brown. So the brown we're gonna paint now all the branches and then the stems. So again, with their smaller brush, we're moving on from the mangoes and we're gonna start building up the branches. You can always come back to the mangoes in a little bit if you are still working on mangoes, but I want you to take the smaller brush and then we're gonna dip it now into this brown that we have. I'm painting all the areas that need brown are the stems and the branch. I'm going to take this around the edge now. another leaf here so I'm going to add a little stem and then this side So keep working on painting in your stems as well as the branches. You can also add more branches if you guys want more brown on there. It does look really pretty, like if you say, like as if it's behind our subject, which is the mango and the leaves. So if you do like a branch behind it, like going this way, it looks really good. So you can keep adding more if you want, but this is all we're gonna work with. So you wanna also get your edges. So you see how I started kind of flowing with the brown to the edge. So a couple more minutes to work on the branches.
While you guys are working on the branches, I'll probably just keep adding a little bit more paint in my mangoes. Okay, so we're finishing up the branches and we're finishing up the stems now. In a couple more minutes, we'll be moving on to building up our leaves. If you're already done with your mango and you already wanna start painting your leaves, you can. You're just gonna paint them this uh, nice soft green color we have. Let's say if you don't have the uh, light green, you can always take this darker Christmas green we have and mix it with white to lighten it up. But you do want a softer green, like a lighter green, to go into the leaves first. So we're going to take the same smaller brush for the leaves as well. You can use this one. You can also use this size brush. Maybe pull both out, choices. Okay, so we're gonna do the leaves. So take that light green that you have, let's put it in that big leaf on the top first. Fill that in with light green. We're painting in the leaves a light green color now. I'm gonna have you guys do those first three on the left side of the top. Let's work on the first three. So after you finish filling out these first three, instead of washing the green paint off the brush, I just want you to kind of wipe it down on a napkin, even with the whatever you have left of green on it. Okay, so with this one, I'm going to wipe it on my apron, use a napkin. And then I'm gonna dip it now into the dark green. So the same brush, I'm going to go back with the dark green and then pretty much looks like I'm outlining the leaves each, the dark green. Bring in some darker green. And that's just for the middle one you wanna do. You can do it to any of them though. Let's say if you wanted to add some darker green on the left one, you can. We can do all, all of them too.
Okay, so we are to maybe going a little bit over our hour time. It is getting close to um, 10 minutes before this live feed will be done, but we will restart it to keep it going. Um, I do want to take the time to build up these leaves right now, so do not feel rushed. We are going to keep going after um, the hour rings up. Uh, we will log back in, so make sure you're, you're still by your computer to catch us, and we'll keep going for the rest of the painting. Just a heads up. But keep focusing on getting the light green in there. Then we'll add some dark green after your light green. Perfect. With the light green, I'm gonna fill in these two. There's still a little bit of the darker Christmas green on this brush, which is okay. So I'm gonna just use what's left of the paint on my brush to fill in these leaves. We're gonna work our way around the edges. If you're not there yet, there is no rush. Keep working on the area you're working on. Eventually you'll get to your edge. You can add the leaf all the way around. So you wanna get the top leaves done. So while the green is still wet, I'm going to wash this green off of the brush now in the water cup and then dip the brush, the smaller brush, into the yellow. So let me take... So I'm bringing in this yellow. I'm gonna add it into this leaf just from the top. And it's kind of pretty because my brush looks a little busted. <laughs> <laughs> it's like furling out look at that but it looks good though when it's doing the um, yellow effect so if your brush looks like it's starting to part that's a great thing you can kind of use it for your benefit where it looks like more texture and movement into the leaf but I did just add a little bit of the leaf just to the top I started from the top and then I, I worked my way down so I'm gonna do that again dip that same brush into the yellow and then I will add it to the leaf that is to the right of this big one I'll add even a little bit to the leaf on this side, whatever I have left for paint on it. And then I'll do it also to this corner. Kind of looks like every other one I did. So adding just a little bit of the yellow on the top to highlight the leaf. And now we're gonna start adding the second row of leaves after we finish this one. So I'll let you guys have another minute to build up these. Again, you wanna add a little bit of yellow in there. Some of them you can keep adding, like if it looks like it's starting to look like one mesh green together and you need something to contrast it, either go darker or lighter. So like this one, I'm gonna go darker right now. So I'm gonna grab with the same brush, even with the yellow still on it. Let me dip it over into this Christmas green color I have, which is that nice darker color. And then I'm going to pretty much just follow the outline of where I originally had the leaf at. So it's darker. Same with this one. We'll darken it up on one side. you have too much of a lighter color or darker color you can always just again bring in and layer it like you say I'm gonna bring in some light green into this the 
just to soften up the top. on our mango leaves. We want to get the edges. And then we're going to work on the second row. So just to let you guys know, this is a continuance to another video. We will uh, be doing it live after this one is over. Do not feel rushed. Keep going if you're still building up your green, but I am going to start on the next row in the next um, live video we're gonna do. So take your time on this. If you're already done with this and you're already ready for the next step, you can keep adding this light green color that we have into these leaves that are on the second row. And again, you know, build up the leaves on the side as well. So we will see you soon. So we're still going. This is what we have the build up so far. Right now we are gonna carry the green over on the second row and build up the leaves. Um, if you're still painting from before and you're still working on your leaves, we are gonna start on the second row. I'm gonna take the camera and kind of zoom it in so you get a closer um, perspective of it getting built up and you can kind of ask questions too, let me know. Um, put them in the comments, let me know if you have any questions as you're going. I did add a little bit of purple in this one than the theme you did originally have. So. Um, the purple looks really pretty. If you still want to add some purple in there, you don't have to. You can stick with the red. But let me get started. I'm going to place it down, and then we will build up the second row of leaves. So we're going to go back to using this smaller size brush. So the one we were using earlier on these green leaves. Keep building it up from here. So the second row, we're gonna start with this light green. So I'm gonna go back to the smaller brush. Only put in the light green first for all of them. Get that green in there. So pretty. Some more light green. Again, let's do our edges. So work your way around the edge. Get so I'm gonna work my way around the edge. So I got some of that leaf in the branch part, but it looks good. So I'm gonna keep making the leaf fill up. Boom, boom, go further down. And add one right here. soft green on the second row. The second row, add that soft green. And then after you do the soft green on the second row, we're going to add that dark green in again.
So for this leaf, I'm actually gonna make it darker at the end on the top so that way it still contrasts from this leaf right here. So let's keep it lighter in the middle. Adding a little bit of yellow there too. Come back with the dark green. And then work your way around the edge. And now we're going to add, I think I guess I'm gonna go dark green because that's what I have left on this brush. But I'm gonna do a dark green in this leaf and then this leaf on this, on the bottom. So as soon as you get the middle done, you can work your way to the last few leaves on the bottom. Okay, so we are building up the leaves, you guys. We're almost done. We're gonna add a little bit of yellow. And then... And then with the yellow and the green kind of on the brush still, I'm gonna just put little soft lines in the twig area where the branches are at. Not like super art, uh, harsh or heavy in the paint, but kind of soft, soften it in so it highlights the branch. Now I'm gonna dip it into this orange, even with the green still on there. Not too much orange, I'm gonna take some of it off in the plate. And then I'm going to do this just to the stems on your mango. So highlighting the stems on your mango. And that is it. That is our buildup of our mango, you guys. So you can keep painting, keep going. Um, these are really fun to continue doing the art throughout the week. If you want more texture on it, you want more details, I'll show you with the leaves, like some more you can do on it. So once it dries up a little bit more, let's use, um, I'll use this one right here. So once it dries up, I'm going to take this one with a darker green. I'm going to go around this and then I'm going to make lines inside. So that's the fun part. So if you keep playing with this at home, you can keep adding more details. So I'll do it to this one, then I'll make lines going up. If 
This one I can soften so I can bring some yellow into this. Add some yellow into this one. But that is it for our mango. Again, don't forget the edges. I can add another leaf here because there's a lot of room. So we'll just do another one. Dip it back in the brown. And that should be it. That's our mango for today. So as you guys are still playing with it, I'm gonna show you, um, this is gonna be some future class themes, but we need help voting. We have one, two, three, and four. Let me know under the comments which one you wanna learn next. Um, it's really fun, because I think we might be doing the whale shark or the diamond head, but definitely send us also your photos of your finished mangoes. We'd love to see them. So tag us at Coco Nene Hawaii on Instagram. Um, and hashtag us. We will be on there. Love to see your guys' finished results. Again, which one of these you guys like to do? One, two, three, or four. I'm going to put the mango on top that we worked on today. Is this wet? Well, I can fix anything. So again, let me know which number you guys want to learn. We can either do one, two, three, or four for next week. Give us your vote, let us know. Also tag us in your finished mango results. We'd love to see your guys' mangoes. They're so cute. I'm so excited. And make sure you can initial it or put your name anywhere. I write my name on paintings in odd places on the side sometimes, on the bottom, upside down, to the left. Um, so there's no wrong place to paint, uh, write your signature. You can do it on this side of your painting, but definitely give us a tag. I'd love to see everybody's finished results. Um, again, we will post everything for details and when our next uh, virtual paint class is going to be on Kokonene Hawaii. Um, again, give us a follow, give us a tag on there. And so excited you guys got to join us. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Bye.